Are you thinking of buying a house or a condo in Alberta? You may want to reconsider that purchase. Buying a home is one of the single biggest investments we can make, and there's a lot of money on the line when we purchase homes from the initial down payment to the ongoing mortgage payments, the interest paid on the loan, property taxes and fees, and the repair and maintenance costs associated with home ownership. In today's economic climate, the buyer and homeowner is at a disadvantage. In Alberta, the cost of homes has risen by 20 to 50%, depending on the market and homes today. And they demand a premium way above what the properties are actually worth. In simple terms, you are being fleeced if you buy a home in Alberta today. Now, you might be thinking, they are cheaper than in Vancouver or Toronto or Montreal. Well, maybe. But consider that just this last month, Alberta's inflation rate was the highest in Canada, making for additional pain when it comes to affordability of everything else. There are many reasons not to buy a home in Alberta. Besides the cost of a home being super inflated, there is reason to believe there will be a recession coming in 2024. How bad of a recession is not known, but experts suggest that we will see much less demand and a contracting of an already very sluggish economy. That means houses will lose some value. Now consider that many homeowners are now sitting on very high payment mortgages and some of these houses will lose value. And when they do remortgage, the value is not there and they might need to sell. Also consider that many of these original mortgages are at extremely low interest rates and rates have gone up considerably, meaning that when they renew their mortgage this year or next, the house payment will cost sometimes more than they can afford and they may need to sell their home in order to survive. This creates less demand and less demand means lower prices. Another consideration is crime. Alberta has very high crime, and in some areas, crime is going up. With a very slow economy and a recession ahead, crime will get worse, and this could trigger people to sell and move from communities experiencing high crime. Inflation is another factor. As we said earlier, Alberta is receiving the highest inflation numbers in Canada. That means everything costs more. You may save twenty or thirty thousand dollars on a house purchase in comparison to other provinces, but in the long run, things just cost more. Energy costs to heat the home, electricity in jeopardy of absolute failure because of federal policies is another reason to reconsider buying a home in Alberta. Another factor in place is the insane wildfire season. Many communities in Alberta are now under water restrictions due to extreme drought, and the wildfire season started very early this year, meaning more smoke and possibly property damage. Natural disasters such as fire, hail, and windstorms are increasing, and so is the insurance costs associated to them. The biggest factor, however, to consider is that nearly 30% of new immigrants that, are, that have arrived in Canada over the past three years wish to leave Canada and return to their home countries to seek a more affordable and livable lifestyle. The demand we see in the housing market is partially to blame as the Canadian government increased the population through immigration to levels unseen. And all this without a plan, leaving immigrants either very poor or even homeless. With the population swing now forecasted the other way, there will be less demand, and with less demand means a buyer's market. We are already witnessing this bubble burst in other parts of the world, and it will happen here. I am not a real estate professional and I don't sell houses. You may find alternative views from those who are, but consider their position. They are there to make money by selling you a house at the highest amount they can. My advice here is just do your own research. 
have your own opinion and interpretation. So take what I say here and leave what you don't need. Thank you for watching and remember to hit the like button if you found this information useful and consider subscribing to see more videos. Take care.